Hey, what's up everyone? It's Duskmos, and today I'm here to show you how to update the firmware on the Von Gon Polyphrase. All right, so in addition to grabbing the pedal and a power supply uh, to make this update happen, you'll need a couple other things first. One, if you haven't already grabbed it, you'll need the update files. Um, I'll link to them in the description below, um, but it includes a WAV file that you actually play back into the device in order for it to update. Once you have that ready to go, um, you'll need to grab a device that can play back a WAV file reliably. Um, so you could use a phone, a tablet, a computer, really anything that could play back that file without any kind of hiccups. So in addition to that device, you'll also need a cable to run the audio into the input. And so in my case, because I'm using an iPhone, I'm actually using the little uh, dongle that goes from lightning to audio and it's splitting out into these double quarter inch jacks. One thing I'll definitely note is make sure you have any kind of notifications turned off um, on those devices because if you got a text message sound or like a Siri activation or something like that, um, it'll actually impact the upload process and it'll break and you'll have to start over again. So um, definitely make sure you silence all notifications. Okay, so now that you have all of the materials that you need to make this happen, uh, you have to put the polyphrase in a mode that um, makes it able to receive this update. And so to do that, you actually plug in the power as you're holding down both foot switches. So you hold those down, plug in the power, and you'll see both of these lights start pulsating. And that's how you know it's ready to receive the firmware. Okay, so next you wanna plug in your adapter, your audio cable to whatever your playback device is. And you wanna pull up your audio file. In this case, it's my iPhone. Um, and all you wanna do is have that ready to go, then plug it into the left input jack because that's the jack it receives this update signal from and hit play. Now you'll see that the process is working properly because the left trig light um, will flash rapidly and then the echo light will flash on occasion, maybe every five to 10 seconds or so. If for some reason that isn't the case for you, um, there's an error of some kind, you'll be alerted to that fact because the trig and echo um, lights will fl both flash rapidly and it won't have this kind of pattern where trig is fast and echo is occasional. So if that happens, just um, you know, unplug the power, restart the process, get it back in that you know, dual pulse mode um, where it's ready to receive the firmware and just try again. But because everything looks like it's going smoothly, then we just leave it to do its thing. Um, the update takes about 10 minutes to complete. Uh, so go kill some time and um, yeah, come back and uh, I'll check in with you in a couple of minutes once this is almost done. When it's done, you'll see it reboot and it'll do its normal light sequence as well. So that's a good indicator that everything is good to go. But until that happens, it's good to just leave it be. And there we go. It just did its reboot sequence and now we have a happy, healthy polyphrase with the new firmware. So now you can disconnect everything, pull that out of there and you can check out the um, new update by, um, well, double checking to make sure it works by plugging it back in, restarting the power anyway. And when this boots up, it flashes twice on the trig light and that's how you know it's got the new firmware. And there you go, you got your newly updated fresh firmware on your polyphrase with all its new features and bug fixes and all that good stuff. Um, if you have any issues or uh, questions or problems with your update process, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Happy to help troubleshoot. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.